Hey friends, and day will, and welcome back to the second part of the Threading for Length series. I filmed this portion of the video over several work days, and we're going to start with day two, where I'm actually on my way to work. Oh, and if you're paying close attention, you'll see that I condensed the number of threaded pieces on my head for a faster takedown for day two. So, for work, on most days, I'm extremely understated. I show out on the weekends, you know, I have my fun on the weekends, but on this day, all I did was to simply bun my hair really quickly and head off to work. Alright, so I'm home from work and I decided to plait my hair for a beautiful braid out. I actually had a formal work function to attend the next week, so I wanted to look a bit more put together for it. So what I did was to hydrate my hair with H2O. Uh, I moisturized with the Curls Red Velvet Moisturizer and I started the braid. What I've noticed as my hair has gotten longer is that I don't have to put as many braids in my hair as I use to where I used to do about 8 to 12 braids in the past now I do about 6 to maybe 10 at the most what I now do is I braid my hair as if I'm corn rolling my hair down so I'm able to take bigger sections of hair and I'm able to spend less time braiding my entire head Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up. I thought I was going to remove the braids the next day, which is why I'm putting the satin rollers on the ends. But then I got lazy and I decided to just chill for the weekend and take them out on the following work day. Okay, so here we go. Um, I did take out those rollers. But what I ended up doing was to take the thread and I threaded two sections of the braids. I did this to give my hair some stretch because I wanted the braid out to be uber stretched out. I wanted a lot of length so I just decided to give it a try and, and see what I came up with. <laughs> B L A C K M A G I C on the M I C. Ladies could get me or they could get ice cream. My style is such that there's no telling. So far, so good. You can see there's a lot of definition. I'm attributing that to the length of time that I left the braids in my hair. Since I left the braids in my hair for about two days, I got a lot of definition and a lot of hold. Okay, so it looks really good. I was really happy with the way this came out. So I'm just going to gently separate out the curls. I don't go in and individually separate each piece of hair out. I don't really like to do that in my hair I actually like to keep the sections together for the most part but I do like my hair to have volume so it's a tricky balance for me I usually attain the look that I want by continually stroking through and building up that volume but still you know aiming to keep the definition in my hair so what I came up with I was really happy with Go. What else? <laughs> All right, so yeah, it, it came out really well. So in the evening time, you'll see that it's now some more softly defined, which I love. This is the look that I wish my hair would come out initially looking like, but you know, I'm happy with it. I hope you guys are happy with the video. I do hope you guys find it helpful. If you have any questions or anything, just let me know. Um, and until next time, I'll see you soon. So my body don't lose that. Can't walk my door, yeah.